So in order to make my fireplace, what I'm gonna do is scrape away a lot of the leaves that are right here. Again, it's very, very wet. But once I get a fire going, it'll dry all this out really dry and potentially light it. So we don't want that to happen. I'm gonna put a pretty good hearth down here. If we were to build a round fire, like your typical s'more roast and Boy Scout fire, it would be great for people to sit around it. But if you were laying next to it, it would warm one spot. The way this is, we have a nice long fire, right? We have this reflector in the background. The fire is going to warm you from head to toe, reflect back off of the wall. Behind us, we have all this in. I've actually spent the night out with clothes like I'm wearing right now and a coat on a frozen river in about minus 30 degrees. And the way I did it was to build a system just exactly like we're doing right now. So at minus 30, I could spend the night out with just the clothes I have on. I didn't even have a rock reflector. I kind of had to make a wooden reflector. But um, with a long trench fire and a bed like this covered with spruce, you could stay out minus 20, minus 30 degrees and be fine all night. So that's kind of what we're building here, even though it's not going to be that cold tonight. So we're going to make a nice uh, long hearth for our fire. So what we've got here is a beautiful hearth. We're going to use it in one way tonight because it's getting late. These rocks are going to serve two purposes. They're going to stop the fire from burning down to the duff and they're also going to hold the heat so say the fire dies during the middle of the night, you're gonna have all this rock heated up and it's gonna hold that heat and keep you warm. Had we started this project in the morning, I would have built the fire on top of these rocks, let the rocks totally bake, and then put my bed on top of the rocks. And so I would have a heated rock pile to sleep on, which keeps you extra, extra warm at night. We really don't have enough time to heat all the rocks because it is getting dark. So we're going to put our fire on top of the rocks. Tomorrow night, if we want to keep our fire going all day, we can heat these rocks till they're so warm that we won't need a fire to sleep. So they have a double benefit. Really nice to have hot rocks. Even if you have, on a cold, cold night, if you have a sleeping bag, you can take rocks from your fire, heat them up, wrap them in a shirt, stick them in the bottom of your sleeping bag, your feet will be toasty all night. So it's really nice to have um, a nice pile of hot rocks.